Uh, hi, my name is Kevin Acosta and I'm going to be reviewing my Red Wing Iron Rangers 8085, the copper rough and tough after owning it for one year. So I got these bad boys on right now. So I'm going to start off with, as I untie these, is with its sizing because I think sizing is important. I wear a size nine in Nike and eight and a half in Converse. And I thought going down one full size was enough. I went to a size eight. And soon to realize that I didn't go down enough. After, like for some reason my foot kept on like slipping inside and I did, it just like for some reason it just didn't feel right. So after like a month of owning it, I went to the Red Wing store because I ordered it online. I, I gotta mention that I ordered it online, and um, so I didn't go into a Red Wing store to get it to get properly, you know, sized. And um, so I took the boots. I went to the store. I was like, I don't know if I have the right size. And there was a nice lady. She uh, told me, oh, what size are you? What size did you get? Uh, does it feel snug? And I was like, well, I wear a size nine. I got a size eight. And it doesn't necessarily feel snug. And she was like, oh, let me go get a seven and a half for you. So she got a seven and a half. I had to go down one and a half size and they felt like a glove. So that is sizing. I had to go down a size and a half. You might have to go down one. Um, I highly recommend that you go to a red ring store. Like I'm getting all this lint. <laughs> I highly recommend you go to a Red Wing store and get properly sized because it's very important because if you get it too big, you're going to be slipping and you have to understand that this is uh, leather and it will stretch. So if you do get it and it's tight, like right here, this is where it, it should feel tight. That's what the, the, the lady recommended. It should feel tight right here. It will stretch. Um, break in. Well. I didn't have too bad of a break-in because I kind of did it very slowly. Um, I have a dog. Raymond, come here. Get up here. Come up here. Yeah. I have a dog. I have a Jack Russell Terrier. And I walk this guy every day because he has a lot of energy. And as you can tell, he wants to play fetch. You see that? He wants to play fetch. And um, he's got so much energy. So I walk him every day. So what I did to break them in was I got, every time I would walk them in the morning, uh, you know, in the afternoon, I would just throw in the boots, walk them, take them off, and I would put on my whatever shoes I was wearing today, most likely some Converse. And so I did that for a couple weeks, and then I started to wear them every day. I, I wouldn't say every day, I started to wear them like a few times a week, and then I started to wear them like every day. So it's gonna take a, it's gonna take some time, some time to, to break in, but it is well worth it because when you put these boots on, they fit like a glove. It's, it's, it's like a custom fit shoe. Oh, let me go get something. Anyways, laces. I have the, the shoes come with uh, rope laces. I also bought the flat laces. I will say the flat laces, they do look nicer. I think it looks more um, casual and a little put together. Um, I would say, yeah, casual and put together, yet rugged. Uh, while the rope laces is just rugged and you can just handle it it's thicker 
Um, I will say that I stopped using the rope laces because I felt like I felt the shoe wasn't staying as tight and I felt that uh, you know the durability of these like the tips on the other shoelaces broke and as cool as it looks with the flat laces I prefer the rope laces so if you want the look of the flat laces I think they look nicer than the rope but I like the durability and the longevity of the rope laces so I just wanted to say that on to the next insole this is a red ring footbed shaped comfort insole I recommend this this is I think I believe it is worth it because here let me pull one out for some reason and this is just me I feel like the leather footbed although I know it's nice and you can break it in and it customized your foot for some reason it feels cold and slippery maybe it's just me but it just seems slippery so the insole it's super thin this one's you know well worn in so don't mind that this it's like super thin but yet that slight bit of cushion it makes a difference and I I like it and it, it makes the uh, the boot fit that much more snug because you you're adding a little bit of a layer to it so I highly recommend the insole um, it's just super light thin and Okay, I want to talk about wearing these in the seasons. I will say these shine the best in the spring and in the fall. I, I, I feel like I can handle anything in the spring and the fall. Doesn't even matter. Like it's not too hot, it's not too cold, so you don't have to worry about that. If it's raining, like you don't have to worry about that because this is the... Uh, it's welted, you know, these boots are welted, so you're not gonna get, you know, wet if it's raining or if you like splash through a puddle. Like, you shouldn't be walking in water, so you should be good. Um, so spring and fall, these, these are the best. And then um, winter and summer. They're doable, I feel like you can wear these year round but in the winter, I will say, if you're going A to Z, you're outside, you got your wool socks, you're good. Like, you can wear these. If you're working outside for, you know, if you're outside walking around for more than, I would say, like, 20, 30 minutes, like, your feet going to be cold. Even I felt like even with the wool socks, like, if I walk my dog, you know, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, Come back home i think it's fine but like towards the end of it i'm starting to the, the coldness is starting to creep in especially if you're walking through snow so i will say that like these are good in the winter if you got your wool socks getting a to z you're good to go if you're trying to conquer the world and do some outdoor labor i do not recommend these like your feet will get cold i'm just saying summer um if you're wearing thin socks i believe you can get away with these um, I wear them in the summer from time to time if I'm like, if I, I'll wear these in the summer if I'm going out for the weekend and I want to, you know, look a little bit casual. So, I, they're fine in the summer. You know, I don't, I don't sweat that much through my feet. So, I wouldn't go running in these. So, that's that. Okay. As far as looks, how do I like to wear these? I personally like to wear, these go well with, I like skinny, I mean, I'm a thin dude, so skinny jeans, you know, they have a nice taper to the, to my ankle, and it's like, it's very slim, and then this is a very slim boot, so, uh, I like wearing skinny jeans or slim jeans. And then they look good. I, in terms of looks, I like to, with colors, I'm going to just say what colors I like to wear this with. My favorite is olive. All, olive, like 
boom, goes really well. If you got like an olive shirt, it'll go well with this. One of my favorite things to wear is these boots, black jeans, and an olive like t-shirt or olive long sleeve or an olive hoodie. That is my favorite thing to wear with these boots. I think navy and burgundy go really well. You see this hat, and then you can never go wrong with all black and then some brown boots. So if you're looking, if you get this pair specifically, that's what I would recommend in terms of colors that oh another thing now the leather cream uh i apply this on like every few months like maybe every other month you see all these scratches in there right now all of those will go away once when i apply this leather cream i got the red wing brush so i'll apply the cream and kind of like brush it out and then it's good to go. They look brand new. So final thoughts. Pricing, need to mention pricing. These are, when I bought these, these were, these were 320. They've upped the price and now cost 330. I don't know why they raised the price, but it's 330 now that you know it's pretty steep i will say for a pair of shoes but after owning these for a year and you know i these still have a lot of life to them i have barely put a dent in the heel in my opinion i will say that you know i think it's worth it i'd rather buy you gotta look at look at it this way. You're gonna buy shoes regardless. You gotta. I mean, you, I wouldn't say you don't have to. You can be extreme, and be like, oh, I can wear flip flops, or I can go barefoot. We're gonna be. We're gonna be real. If you're buying tennis shoes or you know sneakers, this is a well-rounded boot that you can wear year-round if you have to. So like if I bought one pair of shoes, I, I would spend the money. I'd rather buy this one pair of shoes, own it for, you know, I don't know how long they'll last. You know, some people say they can go 10 plus years. You know, you can definitely get years. I don't know how many years, but you can definitely get years. I'd rather buy one pair of shoes than three pairs of shoes, if that makes sense. So let's say I buy, let's just go with a, a generic leather, like Air Force Ones or Adidas Stan Smith, or you know, you got your Nike runners. Whatever you buy, you're gonna spend around $100, maybe 100 plus, unless you're buying Converse. And you're gonna break those shoes down, especially, you know, if you wear them a lot. I'd rather buy one pair of shoes that's gonna fit like a glove and it's gonna last a long time and it's only gonna look better, it's gonna fit better, and it's gonna feel better. So I would make the investment if you can. Um, this is one of my top three shoes. This, Converse, and Air Jordan 1s are my three favorite shoes. Right, Raymond? Over here playing with the ball. <laughs> um, so yeah, so so the, the okay. So we're gonna break this down with the pros and cons, just to end cap the video off, and then I might do a, a quick cleaning at the end, just to you know show you before and after. Cause I've it's been a it's been a little bit since I've put a little leather cream on these and brushed them off. So pros and cons. Pros: the durability, the longevity, the fit, and the comfort. And this is like one of the most well-known boot brands. And I feel like once when I started wearing these boots, I felt more of an adult. If that makes any sense. 
So, like, I know you got your sneakers for your casual and kind of like street wear and everything. And then you got your canvas sneakers and, you know, your dress boots. But for some reason, this like, well-rounded, all-around boot made me feel more of an adult. I just want to say that. Like, it, it just did. For some reason, it did. So, the cons, I will say the price, they are pretty pricey. Like, I love this shoe so much, I want to buy different colors, but I really can't because, like, next thing you know, you spend a lot of money because if you want to buy two, three other colors, then you got to drop some, you're going to drop, there's going to be a lot of pretty, pretty pennies spent. Uh, so, and the break-in, it's just, it's just the nature of the boot. You have to, you have to work for this relationship with this boat. Once when you do though, you, you will love it. I highly recommend it. This is my favorite boot. You know, I've owned Timberlands and you know, Timberlands are great, nice, you know, but there's something special about the relationship you will have with this boot. It's strange. Like, this is my theory. Like. You have it, you have that rough period, and then you're always taking care of it with, you know, the, the leather conditioner, the brushing, and you just build a connection with the shoe, which I've never, you know, it, I wouldn't say I've never had that, but it just makes it that much better that you had to work for it, rather than just, you know, put it on a pair of shoes and then you're walking and you feel some type of way. So yeah, that's that. That's my review for this Iron Ranger. Um, if you like this video, please hit a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Acosta. I appreciate your time. Thank you, everybody. So, thanks.